And I was wondering if we had we wanted to update our presentation rubric for this oh, yeah. project Absolutely. and put major points down for people to do fancy PowerPoints. It should be like valued that the PowerPoints are simple. We need to be throwing elements and principles of design into the language and the rubric. So it's not a matter of simplicity, it's a matter of good design. On the presentation rubric, there's use of media. We need to change that okay. to effective use effective of media. Use. When designing a standards-focused project, I don't think there's anything more important than designing great assessments right at the beginning. Making Thinking through very you. carefully what you want your students to know and do at the end of the project and how you're going to assess them. At the end, um, each group within the block, like the vegetation group and the water quality group and et cetera, will submit a research paper and then they will also give a presentation. And the presentation will be a PowerPoint that reflects the contents of the paper. Virtually everything in a watershed is affected by something else. For example, if people living upstream pollute a river, that pollution will flow downstream and affect the inhabitants in that area. We have kind of a standard presentation rubric, we call it. Um, they know they're being assessed on everything from posture, eye contact, uh, volume, pitch in their voice, to content knowledge, uh, command of their topic. We use this data to compare to the abundance of organisms in our own Pacheco pond. The other big focus on the project was a very slick uh, news report using everything they had learned with the technology all year and combining that with their presentation skills and uh, coming out with a real solid professional newscast. Today we go live in the field for an exclusive watershed report with our very Slow own Alex Wilkins and Yvette Escobar. Twice as loud. You'll feel like you're screaming, Jesse. <laughs> Having very clear performance assessment criteria in place is really essential to a standards-focused project. Make sure the other thing we're going to really hammer on is make sure your images are really illustrating what's happening on the slide. Okay. Not, oh, well, we put that on because it was a cool watershed picture. During a project, for example, it's actually quite useful to carry a rubric around with you as you're dealing with students to actually look at the criteria and you can say to a student, well, I see that you've done this, you've done that, but you're missing some of this, and if you want to move up on the rubric or move up on the grading scale, this is what you need to do. So it's actually not just a tool for assessment, it's a teaching and a management tool as you're going through a project.